Context is king. Mastering the usage of synonyms and antonyms. Hello, language learners. Today, we're delving into a crucial aspect of advanced vocabulary usage, understanding context and audience. We'll explore how to appropriately use synonyms and antonyms in different situations and for different audiences. By the end of this video, you'll be more skilled at selecting the right words to enhance clarity and precision in your writing. Context is the scenario or environment in which a word is used. It can significantly change the meaning or appropriateness of a word. Let's consider the word, determined. It's a positive term in a sentence like, she was determined to finish the marathon. But what about this? The detective was determined to catch the criminal. See how the context changes the feeling of the word. That's why it's crucial to understand the context before using synonyms or antonyms. Audience awareness is another key factor when choosing your words. If you're writing an academic paper, words like dichotomy or epistemology might be suitable. However, in a blog post for young learners, simpler words like difference or knowledge would be more appropriate. Remember, the goal is to communicate effectively, not to confuse your audience. When we talk about synonyms, we're talking about words that have similar meanings, but that doesn't mean they're interchangeable. For example, the words happy, joyful, and ecstatic are synonyms, but their intensity and usage vary. Always consider the context. Ecstatic might be too strong when you're just happy about finding a parking spot. Antonyms, or opposites, can also be tricky. Let's take love and hate as an example. They're clear antonyms, but what if you want to express a milder form of dislike? Hate might be too strong, and a word like dislike or indifferent to could be more appropriate. Practice is the key to mastering this skill. Try rewriting a paragraph using different synonyms and antonyms, considering the context and audience. Notice how the tone and clarity change with different word choices. We've had an enlightening journey through the world of context, audience, and the effective usage of synonyms and antonyms today. Remember, context is king and understanding your audience is vital in choosing the right words. Keep practicing, and you'll soon see the difference in your writing. We hope this video has been helpful, and as always, happy learning!